Are the lights down low? Are the curtains drawn tight? Are the kids in bed? Are the doors locked tight? Good, because it's that time again. Time to be afraid. It's the family classic hour. <laughs> Our story takes place in water. A lot of water. A body of water identified on maps as the Caribbean. Although some may call this body of water Sea of Despair. There we find three innocent family members floating helplessly on a capsized sailboat. The sky is blue and the weather is too. And they are about to discover that inexplicably horrifying things can happen during the family classic hour. Ha 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 ha. Oh, Bob, how many hours have we been stranded on this upturned sailboat? I don't know, Mary. We've been floating so long that my passport's expired. <laughs> well, well, we have to find land soon. Winifred hasn't eaten in days. Winifred? Who calls a pet jackass Winifred? <laughs> we even had the jackass for a pet. Hey, 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 I thought this was going to be a three-hour tour. A three-hour three tour. tour. We'd end up stranded like this for days. I couldn't leave Winifred home. She'd eat all my flowers and, and mess with my carpets. Well, if Bob hadn't dropped the GPS in the water, we could have gotten back to the ship. And if Mary hadn't booked the tour, we wouldn't be here at all. Oh, oh. Oh, now you've woken up, Winifred. Shh, everything's all right. Time for a cuddle. Everything is not all right. We're stranded and hungry and tired and lost. And if we don't get rescued soon, I'm going to scream. Ha he, ha he. Well, you two, please stop upsetting Winifred. Look, she's so anxious that she hee hawed as ha heed. <laughs> Goodness, Winifred never made it sound like that before. That's not Winifred, that's a ship. Look. Not just a ship, it's a cruise ship. Not only, will we be, not only will we be saved, but we can go to the buffet. Wait a minute, doesn't that ship strike you as odd? The SS Du Bois? Bizarre, don't you think? It's probably a Bell cruise line. I don't, I don't care if it's a dingling cruise line. We're going to be rescued. Oh, oh. Ah, Winifred just peed on my shoe. And so our heroes are welcomed aboard the SS Du Bois. But are they really welcomed? <laughs> Welcome aboard the SS Du Bois. Well, thank you, Captain. I I'm sorry I didn't catch your name. Shorts. Captain Schwartz. Oh, isn't that an interesting name? Is it? First Officer Mabel will show you to your accommodations. First Officer Ma? That's an unusual name. It's a family name. I see. Now, if you will follow me, I'll show you to your quarters. First Officer Bell, what is your next port of call? Port of call? Yes, where will the ship dock next? Um, I believe we'll be taking you to Galveston. <laughs> really? I heard all the people there are Texans. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. You clumsy oaf, you spill food all over this corridor. Look at my uniform. I've got mustard on my buns. I'll, I'll clean it up. Let me wipe uh, your... Uh, uh... Get your hands off of me. I'll wipe myself later. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please follow me to your rooms. Bob. Bob. What is it? Did you see the name badge on that housekeeper? No. What was her name? Her name was Larry. Larry. <laughs> 
Welcome to the Greasy Spoon Dining Room. Do you have a reservation? I, I believe so. Uh, the first officer said that he would make it for us this evening. I'm Alex. I'm uh, Bob. I'm Mary. Oh, oh. Ah, uh, yes, party of three plus one jackass. <laughs> I'm your host, Josh. If you follow me to your table, please. Bob, Alex. What is it? What's the matter? Look, we're the only passengers in this entire dining room. You're right. It's just dozens of us of the servers standing around our room full of empty tables and they're all staring at us. I trust this table is acceptable. You have a beautiful, beautiful view looking out over the oil rigs. Well, it's a very large table. That's because it's the captain's table. He will be joining you shortly. Hi, y'all. I am Lurch, your server. <laughs> I'm Senor Gomez, your wine steward. Say, Walter, we seem to be the only passengers here tonight. In fact, I haven't seen another passenger since we got on the ship. What did they all... Hey, bye, bye. What, did they all decide to stay in Galveston? Captain. Oh. I ate the wrong button. <laughs> good, good evening. Thank you for joining me at my table. You all know First Officer Ma Bell. Yes. yes. Hello. Hello. Oh, oh. Winifer just pooped all over the deck. Uh, Captain, we've been wondering where all the other passengers are. Other passengers? Yes, this is a huge cruise ship, and we seem to be the only passengers are on board. Why is that? But the other passengers have uh, already been taken care of. Wait a minute. Something just occurred to me. You're Captain Schwartz, and that's First Officer Ma Bell. And the housekeeper was Larry, and the host was Josh, and the waiter is Lurch, and the wine steward is Gomez. See? <laughs> and we're the only passengers on this entire cruise ship. Oh, oh. And this is the SS Du Bois? But isn't it an ordinary cruise ship? That's why the... Sorry. But it isn't an ordinary cruise ship. That's why the first officer couldn't tell us where the next port of call is. Why? No port of call for ye. <laughs> we won't be dropping you off on land. We'll be streaming you live on Sirius XM. <laughs> ah! Oh, oh. I'm afraid that our unlucky passengers are no longer lost at sea. Now they're lost in the airways. And always they will never be seasick. They will see stars forever. Well, children, just like classic radio, our time is up. Tune in next time when you have some time to the family classic hour. Ha 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 ha.